All right. Yeah, yeah. So look after each other. You're a family and the family all needs looking after each other, not one to one on a one way, one way journey, but interaction. Six loving relationships between one devotee and another. What are those six relationships, Jai Guranga Prabhu? Can you say? Um, is, is it it's the same as the, the five principal rasas? No, it's from Upadesh Amritam, where we have six senses to control six things which will destroy our devotional service, six things which are ensure, which will ensure our devotional service, and six loving interactions between devotees is the fourth verse. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not really sure. No right. problem. I know yeah. Chinmo Dev who can immediately tell us, Kum Kum David Asi can immediately tell us, Parvananda who can even tell us in Sanskrit. And Praneshri David as all can say, and Seva Rupa, are you, we're not visible, but can you answer? Seva Rupa, did it? Oh, you are visible too. Okay, good. Can you say the six loving interactions between devotees? Okay, I can try. Don't watch everybody. Uh, Dandavat Maharaj, um, to honor, no, to offer and receive prasadam and um, to, uh, uh, to give and receive gifts and to open one's mind in confidence um, or, or discuss one's mind in confidence. Um. And, and, Listen, um, I forgot the last one. Yes, yes. Inquire confidentially to reveal okay. one's mind and to inquire the two okay. things. They're, they're all related to giving, giving and taking, as it were. So, yes, yes. very good. And indeed, and Jivana did he just arrive to Dandava Jivana. And to all of the devotees, let us, as we've come together, first give our obeisances to each other. Bancha kaupaturubhyascha, kripa sindubhya evacha, patitanam pavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, namo namaha. All right, so, Jivana Devidasi has arrived and, oh, she's going, she's hiding away straight away. We can ask Jivana, in a few minutes to share something which has given you inspiration in this last week, something you've read, something you've experienced, and but we'll give you a few minutes to think about it. And in the meantime, we'll ask the Praneshwari David Asi to give us whatever uh, update. There was in the first of the readings, right? With Kum Kum Didi, is that correct? Please just update us because I'm a little hazy. Uh, we've had the second uh, session, and this time we had more more visitors joining. Very special uh, friend of Chintamani, very smart, very devotional, and uh, a friend of Kumkundidi. And I I mentioned uh, during during the reading that it was so, so special for me because I am literal. I read A, B, C, and they read between the lines. They extract things that I don't see because I just see A, B, C. It's very interesting, very nice, very beautiful. So I'm, I'm drawing from each one of them. They, they make comments, comments that they are so special, so deep. And uh, it's a learning process for me. For them, it's just reading. For me, it's learning from their learning and their teaching. It's very nice, very nice. And it, it will start spreading. More, more uh, uh, clubs, book clubs uh, will be open because this is something that we need. We don't have the time to read. But if we join a club, then there is no choice. 
we had to read, period. It's very nice. I All invite right. everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, I haven't heard. I think probably recorded, is it? I haven't heard yet, but no, I am it, interested. No, oh. it's not recording, but it will start. Please excuse. Sure. Okay, just had to adjust to the environment there. <laughs> okay, I won't explain what it was. <laughs> it needed attention. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Maharaj, how long are you going to be in Rome? Uh, for, for this, uh, for, for a week in all. I arrived yesterday and then uh, we'll be back on Tuesday evening in uh, Vila Govinda. And Tell us, is it special program? Is a festival? Uh, yes, it's programs. So, so programs have been arranged, and uh, so I'll tell you after it's all happened. Thank you. <laughs> and programs are happening, but again, it can close down. It, it means that now uh, Italy. So, okay, brief news from Italy is that it is open, opening. It's not. It's open basically, and so uh, now we're coming and we've got this opportunity uh, with Dan and Jaya. You see Dan and Jaya and, Ch and Chaitanya Moy Devidasi, they're often in the Zooms in various places, Goswami Maharaj's talks, etc. And uh, so they are, uh, they have arranged, and we'll tell you afterwards you know, how it all went. Some programs here and Munindra and Krishna Kanta, before I left, they said, what we couldn't do, they have done. So Gurudev always had some mention about Rome. And uh, also Goswami Maharaj came to Rome, Abhidut Maharaj came to Rome. And they all have this uh, big ideas of how things can happen in the future. And indeed, uh, they, Manindra, Krishna Kanta, and, and the devotees, uh, they ran a Veda Vita, which means Veda life in Italian, Veda Vita, uh, in Rome based on yoga. But with the COVID, then Rome is a very expensive place. And so when the COVID came, then they saw this isn't going to go away straight away. And so they didn't throw money into something which is, oh, maybe it's going to get better. They realized they had to uh, shut the studio because without income, you can't just pay a large uh, rent every week. So they unfortunately had to close, but they also saying, but that meant that they're able to put their attention into the uh, Vila Govinda up in Milan. So everything has a, a bright side and we adjust with the environment. But here in Rome, steadily, there's Barnaby and Oscar, uh, who you've also probably seen in various Zooms, uh, Barnaby and Oscar, and also there's Dhananjaya and, Chaitan and uh, Chaitanya Modevirasi. So there are four devotees in Rome, uh, two couples, and they're doing something. And now we'll give you a report afterwards of how things went. But we've got programs today, tomorrow, next day. Yes, day by day by day. Um, programs with the devotees, but with the public, with the programs here. So here we are. And Veda Life is going to go ahead, uh, inshallah, as they say, by the will of, if the Lord is willing, in uh, Kiev and in Govinda land and possibly Kharkiv also in Ukraine. So Europe is looking a little more hopeful than it has been for the last year. Or more now is June. Okay, so this is my little bit of news from here. And my other news is 
at 300 kilometers an hour, I uh, literally I finished listening to uh, Chaitanya Bhagav um, Brihad Bhagavatamritam, which was a great joy for me, <laughs> a great spiritual joy, we hope. We try to have spiritual behind everything, but Brihad Bhagavatam written is very wonderful. So, yesterday, but again, when we come to the end of the book, we don't want it to end. And Paramananda Prabhu knows we, how wonderful is Brihad Bhagavatam written. And maybe, I don't know how many of you have read it fully, but it is really it's a wonderful book. Hare Krishna. So we're here in back to back to basics. So now Jeevana Devi Das is going to share something with us because she's prepared. She's done her homework within, within five minutes. She's done her homework and now she's going to share something with us from this week. Kindly, Jeevana. I'm always so thinking how our gurus have told us that if you hear nicely, you can speak nicely. So this lifetime, it's really best that I hear and learn how to hear nicely. So maybe in one lifetime in the future, I can speak nicely. But meanwhile, since you have asked, <laughs> I will um, read a quote from, um, because, uh, from the um, Prapanajiva Namrita, which I read. I try to read every day a little something from there because it's the book that Guru, Guru Maharaj said is the book about how to surrender. Because many times when people are talking about surrender, I'm thinking, what is surrender? How do I know if I'm surrendering? Am I surrender? How do I know to surrender? If I don't know that I'm surrendering, I'm probably not surrendering. So due to this guidance that this is the book about surrender, I'm trying to read it. And hopefully I will come something will sink in, but there's many astonishingly amazing slokas in this book, as you know. So anyway, I just picked one. So this one is from Maharaj Kulik Shekara. And um, Guru, Guru Maharaj says the holy, because he always gives a little introduction to the sloka. And once I heard a class by Devashish Prabhu, and he said, really, that's the most important part of Prabhupada Amrita is what is that Guru, Guru Maharaj has given us some additional enlightenment. And then he quotes, puts a quote to back up what he said. So uh, in that mood, so what he says is that the holy name, but this is um, in confidence in the Lord's protection. And in case anybody wants to look, it is text number eight, but it's the holy name of the Lord bestows the most cherished objective upon even the most fallen. And the quote is from Maharaj Kulik Shekara. O human civilization, with arms upraised, I proclaim this truth. The holy name awards all desired success upon even stone or wooden hearted persons who in the struggle for existence constantly chant the Lord's name such as Mukunda, Narasringha and Janardhan. So this is a very encouraging sloka because sometimes if you're feeling like oh uh, maybe i don't have all the uh, nectar that i should be having with the holy name but this this is from pure devotees saying that um, even stone-hearted or wooden-hearted persons which can still become successful just have to always be trying to do these things chanting as much as possible and thinking of these slokas to have more faith in our hearts. Wonderful advice. Oh, I've lost my Zoom going somewhere. Yes, wonderful advice. So what are we going to do this week? Always chant the holy name of the Lord. That's a plan. That's a good plan. And it is true about the, uh, those introductions to the verses in Prapana Jivan Amritam. Um, we have a very clear example of how the, important those are because the first English edition of Shishi Prapana Jivan Amritam 
um, was compiled by a devotee, you can say with good intention because he'd heard the glories of the book, but uh, he was able to find the translations for many of the verses by referring to Srila Prabhupada's books. But he wasn't uh, of the capacity to be able to translate the Sanskrit. And so he missed, he missed out all the introductions because he didn't understand them uh, the, in Sanskrit or Bengali because the, the book is also available in Bengali. And uh, so he missed them all out. And Gurudev and Guru Maharaj disapproved. And at that time, then Gurudev pointed out that this is the very purpose of the book, to show step by step by step each of these six limbs of surrender. And so um, it is very important. And also those um, aphorisms at the beginning of each of the, of the verses, they're very uh, meditative, meditatable, thinkable, I'm not sure what the right word is, but they're oh, thought provoking for us to see the th like the thinking of Guru Maharaj about giving this verse and then this verse and then this verse and then this verse. They're building upon each other. And so as you're doing, and every time we go to Prapana Jeevan Amritam, then it's like something is new, not only from the verses, but from the, the links of the verses, how it is that, ah, oh, why this verse and then this verse and this verse. And basically, you know, anybody in one sense can collect verses that they, oh, this verse is inspirational, this verse is inspirational. But Guru Maharaj is not just, just collecting verses, he's in a very structured way uh, bringing the verses together. So, very good for us to study study, read, just be in the vibration of Prapana Jeevan Amritam. And Gurudev will be happy too. Maharaj? Yes. Can, can you tell about the difference in the later uh, presentations of Prapana Jeevan Amrita from the first one? Well, there are only two editions in English. The first one came, and then the second one came. Okay. <laughs> the, the second one, the first one has some advantage, and I still keep the first one. I scan the whole thing in. I, I keep it because it does have the word for word, which someone like me, or you know, really I appreciate someone like me, I don't know, but it, being able to go to the word by word is helpful when we are um, going through the book. So the first one, the advantage is it does have the word by word, which at least helps us uh, in some way. Yeah. Um, but that's the only thing I use the first one for. The second one is um, more considered because the things which were pointed out by Gurudev from the first edition have been amended into the second edition. So. Okay. That is that. Plus, of course, what the big difference that is that the second edition has got the aphorisms which are linking the verses together. Mm -hmm. Of course, the second edition also has some interesting translations of uh, um, poetic, generally uh, poetic uh, renditions in Bengali into. Um, trying to be poetic renditions into English. So it has some interesting <laughs> uh, poetic translations. By the way, of which one or two we have almost successfully sung in the past. So <laughs> you can see the potential of poetry. You know, if we have, if we have bona fide, as it were, songs, then they're easier to remember than just plain, uh, like learning the translation to something. Mm -hmm. And then you can see, look at the songs. They are song books. Song books of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Naratam Das Thakur, etc. Even Chaitanya Charitamrita. K 
can be sung. Look at Goro Punima time. We are singing Chaitanya Charitamrita. And we are not only Goro Punima time, I can say maybe two times throughout the year, where sometimes maybe three times throughout the year. Then in private with devotees, we are singing the, uh, that, that same section from Chaitanya Charitamrita. It's a wonderful section, not just to remember Mahaprabhu's appearance. No, once a year we can remember his appearance many times in the year. So we can sing Chaitanya Charitamrita. So in the second Papa in the Jivanamritam does have a couple of songs which I can put out a challenge to those assembled, the assembled devotees, as Gurudev would say, as opposed to the assembled devotees. I can put out a challenge to the assembled devotees, especially those of you with some knack of putting, putting uh, words into music. But uh, I can say one of them is the verse, anything but Krishna's message, no is falsehood, such a passage, such a harlot is so very dangerous. That one does fit into the tune of Sri Guru Charana Padma. So if you hum the tune of Sri Guru Charana Padma, then with a little dexterity, you can fit in that song, yeah, that uh, translation. But there are various comments about the successfulness of the translation in the sense of keeping the, keeping the message while making it into verse form as well as some comments about the actual verse form too. You'll find out when you try singing it. Hare Krishna. But Prapana Jeevan Amritam, it is Prapana Jeevan Amritam. And let's see, the English is difficult. We know that. The English in some of the places is kind of a bit a scratch your head English, but we have it in English. so. You no, know, we're, we're not Sanskritians, etc. So we need some help. What happened to Jai Goranga Prabhu? Come back, come back. Oh. Jai Adai Prabhu, come back, come back. And Rukmini Didi is with us, Tandabat. And Maladhari Didi is with us, Dandabat. She's on Facebook and Anukul Chandraprabhu on Facebook. And so Dandabat to each of you who we've not mentioned directly in our earlier uh, greeting to each other. And Rupa Vilas Prabhu and Kitty Kadamba Jai. So they're on Facebook too. So welcome to each of you with us. And probably those who I don't know because I know I don't seem to see as many people on the Facebook viewing as Praneshwari sees sometimes. She has extra vision to see the devotees. All right, so Jeevan has given us a very good... Oh, look, there's, there's Paramananda. <laughs> uh, what was I going to describe? Anyway, a co-servitor with Paramananda Prabhu in uh, Gupta Govedan. In Chiang Mai. So we've got Pavan Krishna who with us too. So Pavan Krishna, well done. And who's doing the painting? Who's painting? That's brooming. That's brooming. The spider web removing. That's Krishna prayer. Oh, it's Krishna prayer. Oh, you're in Govinda land. Uh, Govinda farm, yes. rather. Govinda farm, rather. Govinda farm. Govinda okay, farm. okay. So we have some servitors around. All right. Real, real Vaishnavas are around here. Okay, Paramanandru. <laughs> the implication of that is <laughs> Hare Krishna. We shall not ask the purport to your statement, but we are very happy to see in every tree and every peacock and every turkey, they're all happy that Vaishnavas are around there. All right, so that Jeevan has made a contribution. And Chinmoy Dev Prabhu, he's super active in the, in the Sokal Ashram in California. 
and he no doubt is reading and serving and listening, preparing, doing many things with the audio, video, with the books, with the service, with the deities, with the devotees. So Chinmoy Devo, can, can you share something for us today for our devotional nourishment? Well, Praneshwari Didi was talking about book club and actually Jai Ram has been doing one for a very long time. And um, now we're reading Search for Sri Krishna. And there is one particular quote, because Sri Srinivas can be very direct. This is the absolute truth. And uh, it was talking about different conceptions and how they're saying, you do this, I will give you this. You do that, I will give you this. This is yours, this is mine. And Krishna consciousness proposal is, this is all mine. You are all trespassers. The whole thing is mine. This is, this is Krishna's proposal <laughs> to us. Okay. And more? I, it's just, I, just very beautiful, just to, like that type of direct understanding of absolute reality. That, you know, no, not trying to skirt around anything else. And Srila the, the Gurudev also mentioned this is Srila Prabhupada's style. This is the absolute reality. You can accept it or you cannot, boss. Which is very beautiful to see. Jai. Hare Krishna. And sin, sometimes we think sin is a four regulative principles, breaking four regulative principles and other things, such as in the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not steal and so many things like this. But ultimately, they're telling us that sin is everything which is not Krishna-centered. Anything not done for Krishna is sin. It is not just not following the guidelines for a civilized society. But what is, what is not used for Krishna, then it's being improperly used and therefore it is sin. Yes. And what video, video did you show last week? Uh, actually, because it was the installation day of uh, Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharva Giri Dari uh, at the Seva Ashram, we showed uh, the actual day of the installation, 1996, I think the 19th oh. of May, 1996, Guru Dave spoke on that day. So we showed that video. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And what guidance did he give? Can you remember one thing? He, I, well, one thing was definitely he said, if the deities want you to serve them, they will make that happen. You cannot escape that. And you noticed that in particular in his talk. <laughs> <laughs> but he also said that the, the purpose of the deities is that, is, is that they're giving us the opportunity to have a connection with them. They're the closest on the mental plane that, that we can have a connection with them. They're, that's the, how close they are to have deities. And what I hadn't at least mentally noted was that that very same day, we know that that's a, the day of the deities installation in Dum Dum Park in Calcutta, but also in Tomsk with Giriraj, it's not installation because he's always, Giriraj is always Giriraj, but it is the day that he was welcomed to the Tomsk temple with fanfare. So something we can say like installation day. And I was truly amazed to see how many preparations they made. And I'm sure because even on a regular day, the deities in SoCal get you no know, wonderful preparations. So I'm sure they got lots and lots of preparations. But in, in uh, Tomsk in Siberia, which is the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's the middle of millions of acres of forest if you look from the aeroplane. And there, they made really a wonder, wonderful feast with devotees all preparing. And uh, maybe I can share, share the screen. Oh, yes, also Paramananda is the one who sent me, forwarded me those pictures. But let's see if I'm able to share the screen. And in the meantime, maybe, maybe 
Chinmoy Deva will has a picture or two from SoCal. Let's see, can I share the screen? Screen sharing, click. Oh, I can share the screen. Very good. Very happy. And by seeing this, I have a green, your machine does not support virtual background. Well, I didn't ask it to. I wanted to share the screen. Hmm. Ah. So can you see? Beautiful. Yeah. So when I, I think there's sushi there. <laughs> I can't say what's there. <laughs> but look at it and how colorful. And here are the devotees. And each devotee, they prepared something apparently uh, for, for this. So, oops. So there's one screen. And now, how to show another screen? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Oh, there we are. Look at that. I mean, really, for, for a, a, a town or a city in the middle of Siberia, and they're making these preparations for Giriraj, and so many happy devotees, and I mean, just so wonderful. And so on the same day in Calcutta, in Tomsk, in Siberia, and in Sokel in California, a festival is going on for the installation of deities. You have to think that Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, all of our Guru Varga, how happy they are. This is the vision of Srila Sarasati Thakur, that in all remote corners of the world, of which California is one, <laughs> note from Guru Maharaj, and Tomsk, you have to say, is another, the, the holy name, the offerings, the, the devotional life is going on in beautiful temples with beautiful devotees and beautiful service. Hare Krishna. Halava yes. Hill. Halava Hill. Hill. <laughs> beautiful. Jai. Then shall we ask to who shall we ask to? We saw Radha Sundari somewhere. Yes, Radha Sundari, David Asi. Would you like to give us a touch of Navadip Dham, please? If available, if Navadip is just nearby your camera. Okay, well, in anticipation. Then we'll ask Paramananda Prabhu for some, for some injection of back to back to basics today. Maharaj, on Tomsk Festival, it was really amazing. So it was a festival of Giriraj appearance in Siberia, a major event, not just Tomsk, but the whole Siberia. And Siberia is as big as probably United States. Grass may being from the extreme north to the extreme south and everywhere in the middle of Siberia it took me three years. And probably I covered like you know, a percent or two. So it is an amazing celebration. And what devotees said about it, they said that so many devotees are there scattered here and there. Tomsk, Novosibirsk, a little satellite cities around, but that event brought them all together. And not just that, like Maharaj said, all of them brought something for Giriraj. And that reminded about Madhavendra Puri when he installed Gopal and they had a celebration. Then they continued on with the Anukut, which is offering to Giriraj, a massive offering to Giriraj. And the village where Gopal was installed was the first one. And the way they did it, they emptied their granaries, they emptied their storehouses, and they give everything, they cook and give everything till they run out of the ingredients. 
And then another village got so inspired by hearing and seeing that festival. So one after another, all the villages around Govardhan, they were queuing to continue Anukut. So it lasted for some months, as you can imagine. So similar thing happened. I said, Balawanta, he is very apologetic. He said, I actually wanted to cook 108 preparations, but we end up with 136. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry you know, for that. <laughs> we missed the number. <laughs> Why, why it happened? Balanta said, first, we ran out of ingredients. We just kept cooking. We saw an ingredient, we wanted to use it. We saw another ingredient, we wanted to use it. And then devotees started from shopping from nowhere. They haven't even invited everybody properly. They spread some news, but they, haven't ex they didn't expect that devotees who were kind of lost, you know, it happens sometimes, devotees have tendency to get lost for a while. They're showing up, Gurudev disciples, those who used to have association with the temple, and they're bringing some preparations. So Govardhan, how perfect it is. And back to the DT Seva, what Shimoy Prabhu was saying, uh, except from Sri Gurudev's talk, how perfect is his arrangement, Guru Maharaj's arrangement? Because every temple where we have Radha and Krishna, do, do we have Giriraj and Sokal? Yes. Here you go, must be. So there must be Giriraj. We, we cannot approach Radha and Krishna directly. It is impossible. The only way to do it is by taking shelter of Giriraj. That's where we reside. Nija Nikata Nivasam Dehi Govardhanatva. Raghunath Das Goswami is praying for that. Please give me the residence. Forgive my offenses, qualified, not qualified. Don't consider that. Just give it to me right away. I'm in a desperate need. So we're residing there. And what we're doing, and Madhusudan Maharaj likes that part, we're going to Kusum Sarovar, collecting flowers. And sometimes we're very fortunate. They let us make garlands. Maybe, maybe not, maybe yes. So we take the ingredients to the higher servitors. And this is how we're approaching the deity worship. We have Guru Maharaj, we have Guru Dev, we have our Guru Varga. They're doing that service. We're just taking ingredients. We're not going directly to Radha and Krishna. Taking shelter of Govardhan, giving all the ingredients to our Guru Varga, and they're doing the very intimate seva on the banks of Radha Kun to the divine couple. So that's a beautiful description. And on the Sanskrit Maharaj, I just I was listening to the talk, <laughs> making some notes. Uh, Srila Gurudev pointed out how important it is to know the meaning, but also on many occasions he pointed out how important it is to learn and recite it in Sanskrit or Bengali. Even he said, even if you don't understand in the beginning, that sound vibration will enter your heart and reveal everything according to your capacity to receive it. So he's saying, learn the meaning and also the rhyme. When they're reciting certain shlokas, when they're reciting certain bhajans, singing bhajans, there's a certain rhyme, like Maharaj said. So we have to be careful that our translation fits the rhyme, at least, because that's the same rhyme the great devotees of the Lord been using. Well, they used to sing those bhajans, Naratam Dastakur. So we have to follow that rhyme. Hearing it from Guru Maharaj, from Guru, they have to be very careful. And yes, it has, it's got to be a devotion, devotional kavi, English-speaking devotional kavi to do it properly. And I don't know anybody else but Madhusudan Maharaj who, whose service was <laughs> to actually make sure that we're receiving everything in the purest form for so many years since the very beginning. Well, and the last thing I want to name say, me is the kavi because that would not be. <laughs> <laughs> when devotees are saying anything, and I'm, I'm saying the devotees, mm -hmm. every word is a song and every step is a dance. It is confirmed in scriptures. It's not just something made up by me. But then on Jivana Didi, who invoked the name of Kula Shekhar Maharaj. And that of course reminds us about our South Indian trips because he's one of the 12 Alvars, the greatest devotees. And Alvar basically a pure devotee in, I don't know what language they use, Tamil or Telugu. South Indian language, Jai Kumar's language. So the great devotee, one of 12. Every temple you visit, you will see a small shrine dedicated to them. 
and Kula Shekhar Maharaj is one of them. And there are a few verses that Guru Maharaj included in Prapanna Jivanamrita. And another one, and they're really, in a, they're in a beautiful order. I think the ones that are going to follow is that where uh, Kula Shekhar Maharaj is saying, Krishna Tadiya Padapankaja Panjarantam Ajayava Mevi Shatamana Suraja Hamsa Prana Prayana Samaye Kapavata Tita Kantava Rodhana Vidho Smaranam Kutaste. So he is saying, when I'm still young, let the Raja Hamsa, the swan of my mind, get entangled in the stems of Krishna's lotus, in a lotus like stems of Krishna's lotus feet and never surface again. Let me just stay there. Because if I delay, what's going to happen? I will be on a dead bed, choking on my mucus and bile, unable even to say the holy name, what to think of remembering Krishna. And that is coming from Maharaja Kula Shekhara. He's saying, do it now before it's late. So Jivana, Didi, I think you're a per, don't wait for the next life to speak. That will be extremely, uh, I would even say a criminal activity because you inherited so much wealth and you're not going to share it with anybody just because you think that you cannot speak. I think you can speak perfectly. So remember that shlot of Kalashekar Maharaj. And then the last thing I'm going to say is the second verse of Kalashekar Maharaj is also in Prapana Jivanavritam. It says, Jajam uh, to Bandave Sarvam, Nindam to Gurave Jana. Tatapi Paramananda, Govinda Mama Jivana. And they say, in that process of surrendering, getting my mind entangled in the stems of the lotuses of Krishna's lotus feet, I may lose all my friends. All my teachers will turn away from me, but I don't care. Let them all go. As for myself, I already decided that my life and soul is Govinda and no one else. So these are the beautiful slokas and something that came up from listening to this conversation today. All right. And also listening to your, the points that you brought up and you're mentioning about how the offerings, all the offerings were coming under the shelter of Giriraj and then Giriraj to Radha and Krishna. And also this is the process when we're thinking now about the installation of the deities, etc. This is the process of deity worship. There may be formalities of how many times to do this, how many times to do that, what to say when you do it. But actually, our deity worship, the principle is we are offering to Guru and then handing to him. And then Guru is essentially doing the offering, is coming through Guru to the, to the Lord, to the deities. And so... The very beginning, we're offering to Guru, giving to his hand, then he's giving to his hand, and then it's our hand in the, in the external world here, but it's on behalf of Guru we are offering the items. So this is coming through Guru, everything we do in our devotional, devotional service to the deities. So this point came in my mind. And yes, Prabhu, wonderful things to hear. And we heard some of those quotes in Sanskrit too. So even though we didn't understand the Sanskrit, some of it seeped in. And also Jivana, she, she's saying, oh, I'm only going, I, I'm, I can't really say very much right now, but now also I myself, I'm going to start to read again Prapana Jivan Amritam because I told you yesterday at 300 kilometers an hour, I finished Brihad Bhagavatamritam happily and sadly because it came to an end but now happily well, i'm going to again read prapana jeevan amritam and i don't know how many times i've read it but we can say in its different manifestations i mean the first edition and second edition we've read it many many times of course but as with bhagavad gita as with all of our scriptures, as with the books, the search for Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Guru in his case, all of the books, the affectionate guidance revealed through everything. They are alive and living. So, but now I was thinking yesterday, and then we finished the book, and then think, okay, what which book next will I read? So it's time for Prapana Jeevan Amritam from word one of the 
forward or the introduction, whatever it may be, all the way through to the end. This is now my prayer. And Nityananda Prabhu, Nityananda Ram Prabhu of Colombia, he's been with us happily. He's, I noted in Facebook, he joined recently, but now he's come over to Zoom so we can perhaps see his form as well as see his name. So welcome Nityananda Ram Prabhu. And Ekadashi in Tomsk, Ekadashi Diri, you missed seeing photographs of the offerings to the deities in, <laughs> in Tomsk. I, we showed the photographs you probably sent to Paramananda and Paramananda mentioning about the, the festival that you had by Balavanta Prabhu's report to him. So now we have the Tom. Yes, Maharaj, I, I saw, I oh, was here saw. with you. In, in oh, the, okay. yes. <laughs> you were hiding from us, but you were here with us. Okay, wonderful. Hare Krishna, Jai Nityananda Ram Prabhu. And Maharaj on Facebook. Dandava Pranam, Madhusuda Maharaj, and all the devotees. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Sita Maharaj, Devodinda Maharaj. How are you today, Maharaj? All is todos bien, gracias. <laughs> Everything is good, Prabhu. Because we're with the devotees and we are reminding ourselves about devotional things very happily. And so happy to have you with us. Maharaj, and you have Dandava talk, so from Bharachandra. Oh, really? Prabhu, and from Mohanananda in Australia. Okay, Mohanananda Prabhu. We had Jai Goranga with us from Australia at the beginning, mm -hmm. but yeah, I suspect. I suspect Seva called him because he's a, a full-time Seva, Seva there. And uh, so anyway, Mohan, Dandabhat Pranam, and, oh, and who did, did you mention? Chandra. Oh, Bharat Bharat Chandra, Chandra Prabhu. Prabhu. Sorry, Bharat Chandra Prabhu. Bharat Chandra Prabhu in separation from his motorcycle. Oh, dear. <laughs> I still, I think of Bharachandra also, even riding the bicycle. Anyway, I saw Bharachandra, he's starting his journey one day and he's putting in earplugs. And he said, oh, yes, because of the sound of the wind. And I never, ever thought of that. But then when I listen to talks, when I listen to classes and Zoom and any things like this, in the earphones by cycling, then you realize, even on a bicycle, how much noise the wind makes. Anyway, many things. Actually, I think of you with devotional things, Bharachandra, as well as practical tips on life that you give us. Hare Krishna. Govinda, Govinda. So, Praneshwari Devi Dasi, would you, would you like to share something with us for this week? for our devotional nourishment. Maharaj, um, I didn't have the time to complete it, but next time if we can, um, if it's possible, we can we can reread the 11 verses of Sri Upadeshamrita, but with the noi. I'm preparing the files so that we have our book, Sri Upadeshamrita, and mm -hmm. also the translation on uh, nectar of instruction so we see the subtleness of of our interpretation Shila Gurudev's interpretation Shila Guru Maharaj's interpretation and uh, and uh, Shila Prabhupada's so okay. for next for next week because I didn't finish it I, I'm in the middle of it and also on the train on the way down <laughs> I read the whole of I mean the verses, the Sanskrit and the English of uh, the Upadesha Amritam, I put it going through. So trying to also be more conscious of the words, the Sanskrit words. And we can say really devotees like Paramananda who mastered that in their teenage years. And here we are still going through and thinking, I have to be more conscious about the Sanskrit words. Yesterday too, I was 
engaging in this way. You see, I had a little time. When you travel, you have a little time to do things. When we're not traveling, we get caught up with many things. So this is our journey. Journey to Rome, the eternal city. Looks very decaying to me, the old things that are here. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Yes, wonderful suggestion. Okay, and I have I have another maybe trick question from me because we know that we have these verses which are the only verse you need is. So this week also again I found and this from Gurudev that the only I'm thinking, I don't have the exact words, but He's saying like this, I'm thinking this is the only verse that the devotees need. Something like this. Maybe I can get the exact words. So, who's going to dare suggest what verse it is this week? And we know there's more than one. So, here we are. Maharaj, so, yes. Give a tip. Well, the thing is... If I give a tip, I'll probably give it away because it's a little obvious. Because, in because as you know, Srila Gurudev, he mentioned it about quite a few verses. I, I know. Okay, okay. It doesn't begin with B. <laughs> okay. Does it begin with K? It doesn't begin with K either. Does doesn't it begin, begin with, with H? K. It doesn't begin with H either. <laughs> not this. And not word. even T. Which T. I couldn't hear. T, T. Thailand. All of these verses you're suggesting. Which was <laughs> the which was the K verse? We know your T verse is going to be Chinada Peace and Ichina. Oh, the the K is Kaler Doshan in here. Oh, Mahaguna Kirtanad Eva Krishna Sya Mukta Sangam Param Rajat. And what was the first verse? The question you asked. Does it begin with? Okay was the first. Then T. Okay. T is to another okay. piece of it. Yeah, yeah. No. And well, give Day. the word, Maharaj. It begins with Okay, but Chin Maidefu had a had a question, no? Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama Kevalam. Okay, very good. Very good. It could be, but in this case it's another verse, which you all know. And it be okay, okay. We said what it doesn't begin with. What it does begin with is and first of all, don't anybody quickly answer. Let everyone think, and then, then maybe you can put up your hand. So it begins with C. Now I can hear the brains going all over the world, beginning with C, the only verse. Let me try and get Gurudev's exact quote. I think this is sufficient for us. What could we need more than this? And Rukmini have a hand up. Oh, does she? Okay. Where's Rukmini? Where's Rukmini? I don't it's, see her. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's from any scripture. Excuse me? Is the verse from any scripture? Oh, it is from a scripture, yes. So, Cheto Darpana Marjanam? Yes, Rukmini Devi, you are the prize oh. winner. Very good. I'll read what Gurudev said. So, I'll give you Gurudev's words, which coming from me, the best things I can do is to give you Gurudev's words, Guru Maharaj's words, Srila Prabhupada's words, our master's words. So, Gurudev is saying, um, okay, one thing. Mahaprabhu's conception is very simple, but we are making it complicated in so many ways because we are tainted with a kind of unclean, uncleanliness. So Mahaprabhu's conception is very simple, but we are making it complicated in so many ways because we are tainted with a kind of uncleanliness. Mahaprabhu has given within his Shikshastakam a shloka about Harinam Sankirtan. And I think this is sufficient for us. 
What could we need more than this? And then Gurudev quotes Cheto Dapana Marjanam Baba Mahadavagni Nirvapanam Shaya Kairagva Chandrika Vitaranam Vidya Vadhu Jeevanam Anandam Budi Vadanam Prati Padang Punamrita Shvadanam Savatmas Napanam Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtana Hare Krishna. So this is another of those all we need is love. I know, but all we need is this one verse, Chaito Dapan. Hare Krishna. And again, we were reading this with the devotees. And when we read, uh, where we started today, talking about the, the book reading, the new book reading, the Kum Kum and uh, Paneshvriya, doing online, then this book reading, this is actually the process in our daily life when we're fortunate enough to be in the temple or to share the temple program. It's the morning program. It is the book reading in this way. And we were reading this with the devotees. And... When we read by ourselves, maybe, I mean, I know when we read by ourselves, wonderful things are there. But when we read in the company of the devotees, somehow things come to the surface, they're more emphasized, more, um, more, I don't know, focused or something. And then devotees have comments. And we tend to be quite commentable, in quite comment association often you know where devotees do say oh this is, reminds me of this or this is you know things like this and so very happily reading with the devotees and this uh, affectionate guidance is uh, part of the morning program in Vila Govinda at this time and by the way none of you speak Italian oh dear but it is a little historic. Oh, yes, Chinmoy Defu speaks Italian. And by the way, he's got quite a certificate for his Italian. He actually speaks quite good Italian. Well, too, so, wait, they did not say that. They, uh, I truly, truly. <laughs> and Monindra gives you much credit because he, he said that actually, and how did he, because, you know, he's chastising me, using you as a good example, Chinmoy Defu. <laughs> <laughs> to put everything in perspective here and say that Chinmo Dave, he refused to speak English. And he said, also Manindra said, you drove him crazy because they couldn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> like they're doing work and you're wanting, wanting them to pass a hammer. And it's taking 10 minutes to figure out what it is. My, my, favorite, my favorite word was what? <laughs> Rosa? Rosa? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so Chinmode speaks Italian. So anyway, historically, practically you say historically, um, Krishna Kanta, she's translating the affectionate guidance. So it's the very first time in Italian that it's there. And I say to them, and now they're doing it, that she records it with a separate recorder. Because you can hear it's, you know, it's a living translation. And she's doing all this translation um, like directly, but it's going out just to the few who are hearing it. But then we know so many, how many people live in Italy and we know being in Italy, not so many, it's not a high percentage that are fluent in English. They may get by in English, quite a few people, but not fluent. And so having affectionate guidance and any all these books in Italian and other languages, it is wonderful. So in the morning, it's in Italian and we're reading in English. It's happening. Hare Krishna. All right. Well, thank you all for your contributions and for being here, both on Facebook. Nityanam, Nityananda Ram Prabhu was in two places. He was stereo. He was on Facebook and with us uh, on the Zoom. And of course, the Zoom, we can see each other, but Facebook, we can see each other through your names as well. So we're very happy for that. And Malad Haridi, we're very happy to see you with us. And 
actually we'd love to ask your contribution and to hear from you because Malad Hari also, all the devotees, but Malad Hari has so much history of devotional life. She can share many things and a good devotee, one of our senior, senior devotee section. And we love to be with the senior devotees, but be with them in hearing from you. And we maybe have to make a few more prayers until you manifest on Zoom and can share, share something live with us. But all are appreciated. And Rupi Vilas Prabhu, he does have Zoom, I know. He comes in on Zoom. And Anukul Chandra will happily also with you week by week. And we also would appreciate contribution from all of you. Praneshwari, did you got a hand Maharaj, in the air? Yes, just one minute. Can we ask Kunkundidi to read the chat? Yes. There are the last two the last two posts. Oh, I didn't see the chat at all also. Oh, you've given us a quote, right? From Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Kunkundidi, can you please read it? Yes, if the devotees would like. Well, I don't know about the devotees, but I would. <laughs> From Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rakak, Srila Dev Goswami Maharaj, in Inner Fulfillment, the Land of Beauty, where every word is a song, every step is a dance, and the flute is the dearmost companion, from Sri Brahma Samhita. Every word is a song, this is not a sound of this plane, this is from some other world, some other world that is so soft so sweet, so heart capturing. It is a world where correct behavior occurs most sweetly and harmoniously. Every word is like a song, kata ganam. Every movement is sweet like dancing, natyam gamama napi. It has been described in this way. Everything is replete with the highest degree of beauty. This is the land of beauty this is the land of there everything is beautiful everything has the touch of beauty <coughs> divine <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> could someone else continue the prime hey, cause hey. is charming yes Manada. the prime cause is charming attracting and arresting to the heart and soul stop there is a land of such existence. Our aspiration is for such a life, Radhika Madhavasham. We can sincerely foster the idea to feel attraction to a life of such a plane where everything is of a musical character. So we thank Paramananda Prabhu because he brought this tonight or oh, today. All right, beautiful. And we thank each of you because you brought yourselves and as well as your contributions from Seva Rupa Didi also from and Jeevan and Rukmini got the prize today also. And from Chinmoy Day Prabhu who reminded us of the, how much of a fest, festival week it was. And here we are together happily online. So from my side, at least, I need to bow out at this point, and but happy to leave you together. And I can just say big jais to our wonderful Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, our wonderful Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai, yeah. our wonderful Srila AC Bhakti Varanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai, yeah. Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Tako Ki Jai, Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Vaga Ki Jai, all our present day Sri Chaitanya, Saraswat, Acharya, Brinda Ki Jai, and all Anantakoti Vaishnava, Brinda Ki Jai, and to all the devotees gathered here, Kum Kum Devidasi, Jeevana Devidasi, Parmananda Prabhu, all of you one by one by one by one, and on Facebook who are with us too, and who will also see the recording later to each and every one of you. We appreciate your presence. My obeisances to you all. Vancha kaupa trubhyas cha, kripa sindhviya eva cha, patitanam pavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, namo namaha. And now I'm going to select 
my next book proper najeevan amritam so that i my next when i get a few minutes i will be starting to read that this week happily thank you for the reminder netai gor premanandi hari hari bol dandava shila bhakti ranjan madhusudan maharaj ki jai hari jai